Hey there, Yin here, back with another video. Um, so today's video I'm going to talk about my trip to Tokyo. I went in the summertime, which was about three to four months ago in August. Um, okay, so I'm going to do two parts on this because um, it's going to be quite long otherwise. The first part is going to be about my trip to like, um, you know, all the tourist uh, places like the Sky Tree, Tokyo Tower, um, and some of the parts like sh Shibuya Crossing and stuff like that. I've got some pictures to show, so um, stay tuned and I will talk along with the pictures which I'll post. Yeah. Uh, my second part will be about Komike. Uh, um, that will take like really long to like talk about, so I thought I'd split into. So anyway, here's my trip about Tokyo. Enjoy! So, as you can see here, it's the famous Sky Tree, which is uh, in Tokyo, which everyone wants to go see because it's like, you know, one of those new things. When it was completed in March 2011, it was one of the most, well, it was the tallest tower in the world. Um, I think it's the second largest structure in the world at that time, but uh, now, I don't know, maybe it got overtaken. It got overtaken. So, um, there's like day and night view of the pictures. And here's some like screenshots of inside. Uh, it's not very good quality because I got a crap camera and I didn't have a tripod, but uh, you get a general idea of what view you get. Now then, I'm going to talk about the ticket system to get into the Sky Tree. Um, there's two ways. You can book online, and there, then you will be able to skip the lines. You don't have to queue. You can just go to the machines and get your tickets. But you need a Japanese credit card to do this. So, as a foreigner, you probably won't have that option. Um, the other option is, is to go there and simply get a ticket and line up. Now, tickets are limited throughout the day, so it's best to go as early as you can or, well, it depends I guess. I mean, I guess it doesn't get sold out that quick, but, you know, just be aware that there are limits during certain times, because, you know, so-and-so people can queue up. So anyway, you go there, you, um, you queue up um, for a ticket. Now, this ticket isn't to the ticket to the top, it's just a ticket to wait in line, yes. So, you get, you get your first ticket and they'll say like, um, you have the queue at this certain point for, I don't know, um, two, two hours later. So then you have to wait like one to two hours. Um, there's plenty of shops around, you know, so you, you can like look around and do quite a few stuff. But, yeah, it's probably not going to be like that much to do for that much time so so me and my friend just sat around waiting until it was our time and when it was the time we then lined up at the, the door where you know it'll be like big signs saying um if your card says line up here at 6 30 then you just go up there when it's 6 30 and then you line up so anyway you uh go in and then you go inside the building and lo and behold there's another queue now um because you say say you had to queue up at 6 30 um, the group before you at 6 o'clock are obviously in front of you. So you have to wait for them to purchase their tickets. And when they finally purchase their tickets, then you get to move and buy your tickets. If there are any left anyway. So, yeah. So after you buy your tickets, there's another queue. Now this queue is to the elevators. And this is what the inside of the elevators look like. Okay, it's not really that exciting, it's just like a screen showing how many meters you've got. So anyway, I want to explain about the levels. Um, the first level is 350 meters, right? And after you buy your ticket, you can only go up to the first floor. Now, if you want to go all the way up to top, which is 450 meters, you have to buy another ticket, which is on the first, well, the second floor, um, where we get off at 350 meters, which is uh, around here. But the good thing is is that you don't have to, you know, queue up long to get the second ticket. I mean, it's only like five minutes worth, but uh, it's definitely worth it. I mean, you know, look around the first floor and then go to the second floor. It's definitely worth it. I'll show you the second floor now. Okay, so this is the elevator to the, the last floor, which is uh, the highest you can go. Um, it's, um, it was I mean, it looks boring, but I don't know. You have to be there to uh, enjoy the moment, I guess. So, yeah. And last and not least, this is the inside on the top floor. Um, 
Yeah, it's very bad quality, to be honest, but, uh, you know, this is what you get. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. All in all, the Sky Tree is definitely worth a visit, so if you go to Tokyo and you've got some time, definitely visit the Sky Tree. Um, you may want to plan a few hours just in case, you know, because it does take a long time if you haven't got tickets. Um, anyway, so I want to talk about Tokyo Tower next. Um, it's not as popular as the Sky Tree now because, you know, it's the newer thing, but definitely worth a visit. Um, sadly, um, when we went, oh, this is just a shrine to the tower, yeah. Um, well, a shrine near the tower, I forgot the name. But anyway, um, when we went, it was starting to rain, and it was like thunderstorms, and, and we were thinking, oh crap, you know, we're not going to see much. So to make up for it, we decided to stay for it, to see what it looks like in the daytime and the nighttime. And I managed to get some nice shots of it looking, what you know, what it looks like in the day and what it looks like in the night. And we stayed like one to two hours for that, because we went around like six-ish. And then, you know, it was like daytime around 6 and nighttime around 7, and it, it was just really nice. To, to be honest, definitely go because it's just one of those places we have to go. And here's the famous Shibuya Crossing. I don't know if it's true, but it's like one of the most busiest crossings in the world. And to be honest, it's, yeah, it, it's absolutely great. So, you know, I just made like a short video of me crossing the crossing and spinning the camera above my head. I probably look like an idiot to most of you, but you know, who cares, right? And so yeah, this is definitely worth a visit. It's like a, it's actually, it's actually quite a nice Starbucks nearby where you can go in and you can like uh, you can see from the top, you know, the crossing. Um, but we didn't go, so maybe you can go next time. Yeah. And as usual, to finish off my videos, I will do a little short story. So this is like one of the restaurants we picked um, to eat, it's like a yakiniku, which is like a Korean barbecue. Uh, you know, and it, was, and it was all you can eat. So um, you can stay there for, I think, only one to two hours. I think it was one hour. I'm not sure. No, 90 minutes. It was 90 minutes. Right? And you can order as much as you like, um, depending on which, uh, you know, course you pick. I mean, we didn't pick the most expensive set, but we picked like the... Um, like, I don't know, the second one or something. It, it had like, you know, like 30 or 40 different things you can pick from. So anyway, um, so the story is, is that on the menu, well, the, the menu was on the screen anyway, usually you have a menu in it like paper four, but this one was on the screen, you know, a little bit futuristic. But, so uh, we were like pressing the buttons and stuff and we were like, you know, messing around on it. And when it came time to order, uh, this was something. So funny. Um, <laughs> the, the, the waiter came and he had his um, electronic uh, gizmo or whatever, you know, to like put orders in. And um, <laughs> my, uh, my friend, um, my friend thought he had to like press the buttons on the monitor to order things and he'll like, you know, be sent to his thing. So I was about to like, you know, say what we was going to order to the waiter when I, when I saw my friend push the buttons on the monitor and I just burst out laughing uh, and I saw like look at the waiter and he saw like look back at me and smirked uh, and, and I was like yo mate um, <laughs> you, you don't press the buttons on the thing you have to order through the, through the waiter and the waiter looked at him and goes yes order from me <laughs> I was like oh my god so yeah, that's my in the story for today, and okay, so this is end of part A on Tokyo, part B will be about Akihabara, or Akiba, which is short name for it, um, um, and I'll be talking about Komike, which is like, you know, where all the otakus go, and all the anime, and, and all the jujinshu, and you know, all that, the geeky stuff, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Um, the next comic here is actually Wintertime, which is in December, which is very close. But I won't be going to that one, so yeah. Anyway, I've got a lot to talk about next time, so look forward to it.